Imagine this, it's early Monday morning and your inbox is already piling up with request summaries, metrics, and performance data, which is all due by noon. Now you stare at the jumble of spreadsheets, trying to make sense of everything, while at the same time wishing there was an easier way. Now, picture this. Every number you needed was already organized. Every trend or big change was at your fingertips and the insights flowed to you automatically. Well, welcome to Insights, a tool that reshapes live chat's reporting landscape. Now, instead of wrestling with manual data entry and guesswork, you'll explore patterns you never knew existed and at the same time spot opportunities before they appear on anyone else's radar. If you need to check on 30 agents at once, no problemo. Want to uncover which areas need the most attention, what's rising, what's slipping through the cracks, and what's waiting just around the corner? Well, it's all right here. Sounds great, let's dive in. I want us to start off with the overview section in Insights, where we focus on automating your reporting work so you don't have to spend hours of manual work collecting and organizing your data. Let's hop on over to the live chat app so I can show you where the magic happens. So we want to open up our live chat app and we want to go to reports. Then we want to find insights. Now, if you don't see insights in your live chat license, please make sure to reach out to the insights team. Or if you don't see a section of insights, reach out to them as well. Their email will be in the description. Now here we want to go into the overview section. Now in the overview section, you'll find a ready-made report that automatically gathers specific metrics every day, week, or month. So as shown here at the top, it's conveniently divided for you into daily, weekly, and monthly view. So overview provides a spreadsheet style report similar to the ones that you've used, but now it's prepared automatically, saving you the hassle of doing it manually. So it highlights key trends and significant changes, making it easy to track what's happening in your customer service. Like here, we have a highlighted anomaly. So if we click on it, a pop-up will open and we can see that, whoa, the holiday sales special tag has changed by 245% in this anomaly. Now, I'm gonna tell you more about these signals in just a bit in the recent insight section, but for now, let's go and close the pop-up. So you can take a look and compare the changes between various states. So for example, here, I can see that we had a lot more chats in the week of the 1st of July to the 7th of July than the following one. Or that, for example, there weren't a lot of tickets solved in the week of 22nd to 28th of July, but there still were quite a lot of chats. So here I have a list of metrics per agent. You can see their performance divided into how many chats they've had, you know, how many times the support was rated great and so on. So this is very useful, especially for customer support managers, directors, or team leaders. Now, if you have certain groups set up, the metrics can also be divided per group for you. Now, you can start using the overview report right away, but to truly maximize its value, take a moment to customize it. So you'll find all of the customization options available in Configure. Now at the top here, apart from Configure, you'll also find Export CSV, so you can easily export your report. Now, if you'd like to create a fully customized group of, let's say, support, spam, sales, and empty chats to see the numbers combined, no problem. You can also compare tags to each other. You can even compare your bot's performance to your live agents. Now, there's so much you can do, and I'm not done just yet. There's so much more to insights. Let's move on to the recent insights section. The recent insights section focuses on finding signals for you. Now remember the highlighted anomaly I showed you in the overview section? Well, they were highlighted because we spotted it in your selected metrics. Now the recent insight section is all about those types of big changes. All the signals that we find for you will be displayed in this section. So, you know, instead of manually having to be on the lookout for or searching for these big changes, 
we find them for you and then split them up into categories so that it's neatly organized. Right, let's quickly pull up a view. Let's go ahead into the recent insights section. So starting off, we have anomalies. Now these are signals that fall outside the expected ranges of results. So based on past data, we can anticipate results within a specific range. And when a data point goes beyond that range unexpectedly, we call it an anomaly. Let's go ahead and explore this example. So here we can see that the accessories tag had 36% more chats than usual. And therefore we've decided to inform you about it. Now this might indicate that it's a good time to update your accessories page or your product details. So definitely go and review the chats to see what the customers are saying. Now, the other tags used alongside it also changed during the anomaly. For example, the two for one tag grew by a huge percentage. So did the accessories promo tag. So from this, we could infer that there were a lot of questions about your promotion on accessories and maybe there should have been a bit more information provided since, you know, there was a huge interest. Now, the same with the groups tab, the campaigns tab, and metrics. So here we can view more at metrics at the end. So let's go ahead and close the pop-up. And the next category is big changes. So changes in a trend that are more stable, but we still believe they are worth having a look at. Then we have appeared. So it's like a first look at how your new tag campaign or group is performing. And on the contrary, we have disappeared, which means we stopped seeing data for something. Now, if you didn't change anything, it might be a good idea to check it out. Let's scroll down. And moving on, we have the trends category which shows metrics that are getting slightly better or worse over time. So you'll find a bunch of interesting information that can really come in handy here. Then we have the website traffic category, which works if you have Google Analytics integration installed here in Insights. So you wanna make sure you have the GA integration installed directly here. Now, I currently don't see the option of installation because I've already done so, but you will. Now, based on the integration from Google Analytics, you'll have peak hours available here. Of course, you can click on any graph to receive more info on the recent insight. You'll also have a breakdown for each of them. This brings us to the last section in insights that I wanna show you today top customer questions. In the top customer questions section, we provide the most common questions that appear in your chats. This is super helpful to let you know what customers have queries about, perhaps which type of canned responses you could add to help your agents handle chats more effectively, or what you definitely need a help center article on. Right, let's get back to the live chat app. So here we wanna find ourselves in top customer questions. And in this section, each week, we provide the top questions that appear in your chats. Now you can expand a question to see all the chats that contain similar questions. So for example, here we have how to use discount code, um, where to enter discount code, can I use discount code with my order? Now, when you click the purple bubble here, it will take you to a chat in archives. Now at the bottom of each question, you'll find buttons like copy to copy all listed questions, create canned response, create campaign, and create website article. So these are great and easy shortcuts for you to start eliminating these common questions. Now, if we go back to the top here, you can see add filter and the automatic filter of bots and automation which you can change or simply get rid of as you please. So for this filters, you can filter by country, tag, group, and of course, by bots and automation. So you definitely wanna spend time here because this section really tells you what your customers want to know, whether it's about your products or about your service. Right, that sure was a lot for today but I'm so glad that you're more than ready to start automating your data collection and data organization and finding big changes with insights, leaving you more time for, you know, what's really important, decision-making. 
our insights team continuously enhances and adds new features every month. If you have any suggestions to make your work easier, don't hesitate to get in touch. Now, as mentioned before, you can find their email address in the description. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at livechat.com or go to the insights team or simply leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Thank you.